Welcome to the Fine Art Library, home to the Central Library's Henry Dyer Collection. We'll learn how the Henry Dyer Collection came to the Central Library and why it's one of our most treasured collections. Henry Dyer was born in 1848 in Lanarkshire. He studied engineering at Glasgow University. After graduating in 1873, Dyer was invited to become the principal of the new Imperial College of Engineering in Tokyo, where he worked until 1882. Returning to Glasgow from Japan, Dyer brought back numerous artworks and musical instruments, some of which were bequeathed to the Mitchell Library in Glasgow. In 1945 and 1955, Edinburgh City Libraries received two donations from Dyer's daughter, Marie Ferguson Dyer. We don't know why Dyer brought back so many mementos from his time in Japan. Was he a collector? Or perhaps were they gifts of thanks? This bound album of Japanese woodblock prints by Kunisada II, dated 1857, illustrates the tales of Genji, one of the most important works of Japanese fiction. The tale of Genji is an 11th century portrait of life in the medieval Japanese court, written by Lady Murasaki Shikibu and was the bestseller of its day. There are 54 chapters in the novel which focus on the life of the son of a Japanese emperor known as Hikaru Genji or Shining Genji. For political reasons, Genji loses his royal status and starts life as an imperial officer. The tale focuses on his life and his relationships with women and aristocratic society at that time. The colours of the prints are particularly vibrant and the detail within the images exquisite. Japanese prints were to revolutionise Western art, encouraging artists to show their subjects from unusual angles, to cut off the image from the margin, and to introduce Japanese objets d'art, such as fans, into their paintings. This is an example of a folding album of unique paintings and calligraphies on silk by various artists. Its title, Open Eyes and Radiant Heart, is particularly evocative and we think maybe is a quote from a poem. Unlike woodblock prints, which were mass produced, this album is a unique artwork and would have been specially commissioned for a wealthy patron. This album is even believed to be an imperial album dating from 1854 to 1858. We are currently working with experts to identify the artists of the images and to decipher the calligraphy. Some of the very fine works of art in the album show the exquisite craftsmanship of the artists. We can see artists have taken their inspiration from a range of themes, including nature and wildlife. Although by different artists, the album comes together as tonally cohesive, presenting a complete artwork. Another folding album of miniature hanging scrolls. There are 66 pages of unique paintings and calligraphies by various artists. It has been suggested that this album was created as a gift to strengthen a political alliance. The inclusion of high-ranking artists from the Kano and Sumiyosho schools indicates a powerful level of patronage behind the album. Different subjects are represented. Landscapes, actors and figures, fans, floral arrangements and calligraphy designs. Notice the inclusion of almost abstract decorative designs and always an exquisite level of detail. This may look to our Western eyes like an interior design collection, 
almost like a catalogue, but it was common for Japanese art to be presented in this type of album format. In our next film, we'll look at one of the most prized items from our collection, a 44 foot long painted hand scroll entitled Pleasures of the East by the Japanese artist Furiyama Moromasa.